This is the 10 freeway east going towards downtown Los Angeles. It's easy driving today. There's beautiful Los Angeles on the left and they're still building new skyscrapers on the right. Seems like there's no problem at all. The weather is nice, everything is great. But it isn't. Glendale. Welcome YouTube friends from all over the world. Welcome to my vlog. Today is just kind of a little update. Yesterday I got an email from uh, Lufthansa telling me my mom's flight is canceled for the second time. So we, she's not able to fly out. She's gonna be stuck here for a little bit. And I needed really some medication because my mom is staying longer now. So I called a few friends, they helped me out. And I'm here in Glendale right now to pick up all her medication. And do you know what else is in Glendale besides the pharmacy? You're absolutely right. It's the Forest Lawn Cemetery where Michael Jackson's grave is. And that's right here around the corner. And of course, when I'm that close, I have to go by and say hi and we'll see what's going on at this gravesite. So stick around, I see you then. Forest Lawn Cemetery. The cemetery opened up in 1906 and over 250,000 people are here at the cemetery and counting. It's almost like an art show. They have really nice statues here, waterfalls, nice flowers, trees. It's really peaceful here. And here on the left, you see the great mausoleum. It almost looks like a castle from the far. It's like Italian style architecture. Many famous celebrities are laid to rest right here. This is the entrance to the Memorial Terrace. That's where Michael Jackson's best friend is buried, Elizabeth Taylor. She died when she was 79 years old and she's pretty close to Michael. That's where she is. She has a huge angel in front of her grave. It's made out of marble. You're not allowed to go in there and take pictures, but I'm trying to post the picture on the side so you can see how it looks like. So she's buried right here and you just go to the left. Michael Jackson is buried right here, pretty close to her. If you go in there and go to the right, you see Clark Gable's grave. He did over 60 movies and he was really popular in the movie Gone with the Wind, which won eight Oscars. His last film he was in was actually Misfits with Marilyn Monroe and that was also her last movie. Look at all those awesome statues here. It is so quiet here. There's mom. It is so quiet here. I think the cemetery is a safe place to go when there's a pandemic going on. This is the back entrance. If you go here, go up some stairs. And that's where his tomb is, right behind those stained glasses. Let's check out if they put something new here at his shrine. I cleaned up this area pretty good here last time I was here. Oh, those flowers don't look good anymore. We never forget you, all the flowers. I watched a video about this place. There's a whole bunch of celebrities in here too, but I don't know any of them. They're like really old celebrities. Look at mom, she's enjoying the quietness and the nice sun. There's some grays right here. I try not to step on it.
the entrance to the Holy Terrace. I just saw a video last week of the one year anniversary of Michael Jackson's death. That's when the family came and visit him and Latoya Jackson was walking right here. And I think it was Tito and Jermaine also greeting all the fans right here, shaking their hands. Maybe I can insert some pictures. When they had Michael Jackson's funeral celebration right here, they had 200 of his closest friends right here. And they spend about $900,000 on the funeral service here. I've been here many times, but I don't see any flowers, pictures, anything. Yep, maybe here. Some flowers. Somebody brought them sunflowers. This is for all the Michael Jackson fans all over the world. They don't have a chance to come here. I live so close, I can't come here anytime. Hello, I'm too close to you. I gotta wear my mask. No jokes on the side. Just imagine Michael Jackson was wearing his mask all the time when he went outside. I don't like to wear them at all. It's all sweaty, especially when you're outside and it's hot. So just imagine what Michael Jackson was going through wearing his mask all the time. I don't think it was fun for him either. Look at mom, she tries to go inside. Mom, it's closed, you can't go inside. On May 4th, Katherine Jackson's, Michael Jackson's mom's gonna have her 90th birthday. And my friend Ron, he was here uh, Easter Sunday. There was nobody here either. We actually wanted to do something like a big card and we put all people's name in it. And then one day we're gonna send it to her. Right now with this shutdown, I don't think we were able to get a card to her. I don't even know if she still lives in Havenhurst or if she's in a retirement home. We don't know that, but uh, if you have any idea what we should do for her birthday, probably Ron and me are gonna be here. Ron is gonna be here for sure. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'll probably make it too. So put something below in the comment list, any idea you have, okay? So what we can do for her birthday. If you look here from the Holy Terrace to the right, all the way down there, that's where Joe Jackson's grave is. I try to find it again. I've been there once. And then a little further down, that's where Michael Jackson's idol is, Walt Disney. And I try to make it right there. Let's do it. I'm just wondering when the last time his kids came by, Paris, Blanket, and Prince. Look at the detail here. When I was here for Michael Jackson's 10 year death anniversary, there was hundreds and hundreds of people here. I wonder how many people come this year for his 11th anniversary. Look at this, right in front of the Holy Terrors. I've never even seen that. 1872, she died in 1950. She died in 1930. Those graves are here a long time. Okay, let's go one final round around the great mausoleum. Bye, Michael. Rest in peace. I just had to get out of my car. Look at this tree. This is called the Court of Freedom. And this is where Joe Jackson's grave is. Right here. It's an unmarked without a headstone, which I don't understand why he doesn't have a headstone. 
but I've seen pictures when Paris posted some pictures at the funeral and they had his casket right here. Joe Jackson's unmarked grave. Look at those graves. They're beautiful. Statues, nice garden, blue sky, sun. If it wasn't for the lockdown, I wouldn't be here today. I had to work on the beach. So you guys can see the cemetery. It's a good thing, right? Wow, look at this. See the statue is here and the casket was right here. Maybe it has something to do that he was a Jehovah Witness, that he doesn't have a headstone, I don't know. I just found this picture on the internet and I just love to match up pictures. Right here, that's where Janet Jackson was standing with her son. See, I'm the lazy one. Mom is the one who's walking. Down there is where Walt Disney's grave is. That's where we're going right now. The first president, George Washington. And this chain right here, I didn't even know either, but it says right here, it's the Liberty Chain. Part of the chain stretched across the Hudson River in 1776. It prevented the ships coming through. And if you go left, that's where Walt Disney's grave is. And when you see the Freedom Mausoleum, just make a left turn and it's right here. There's a little mermaid, Walter Elias Disney. And he has some family members here too. He got cremated. Walt Disney. Michael Jackson loved everything Walt Disney. So since I'm here, I gotta pay my respect to Walt Disney, the creator. He made millions of people happy and created the happiest place on earth, Disneyland, Disney World, through all his movies and his theme parks. How cool is this? Somebody put a Disneyland ticket, an annual pass right here. Walt Disney's final resting place. Out of respect for the privacy of our property owners, photography is prohibited. So I can't really take you guys with me inside, but I can show you what it looks from the outside. Beautiful. Thank you friends from all over the world. That's the end of the video right here from the cemetery in Glendale, Michael Jackson's grave. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, push the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe you wanted to see this too here. You know where I am right now? This is the famous Michael Jackson Thriller Wall, where they filmed Thriller in 1983. And when I come from Glendale going home, I have to pass downtown and it's right on the way home. So I thought I'm gonna stop by and show you guys how it looks like now. Normally there's constantly cars driving, but because of the pandemic, no cars driving, but still all those cars parked here, you can't really see the red wall. But here is where Michael Jackson danced to Thriller. And Ola Ray was standing here with Michael. Let me get a little closer up. Right here. And you can see in the video, there's some kind of signage right here. Check this out, somebody crossed this out. I wrote this here, I don't know when I did the Thriller video, but check it out in my videos, you can see it. But somebody tried to scratch it out. You can see this light pole and this power pole 
in the video still. And all those cracks you can see in the video. This is repaved. And this is the manhole where one of the zombies peeked out. Right here. It's right here on Union Pacific. It is really not a good area, but there's really no people around anyway. They just sleeping in their vans and campers and cars. This is where Michael was standing with the zombies. I always gotta take a souvenir home, pieces of the wall, right here. And this is the sidewalk where Michael Jackson was dancing around all array. Oh well, that was it now from the Thriller location. Same thing, give me a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and I see you in my next video. Just saying, hee hee. Wait a minute, not so fast. I have one more location to show you. You know what this is? Yeah, you're absolutely right. This is the Thriller house. Right here is where Ola Ray was running for shelter. Little as you know, all the zombies broke in to the house. I just want this piece of wood right here. Yeah, this is the Thriller house. It looks like nobody lives in here, but believe it, somebody's living in here. And nice roses. So the house is still there. I hope it wasn't too boring for you guys. Anyway, let me see if I find some other locations for you. Look, all those houses, they look like movie props. Like this could be any street at the Universal Studios. This house was used in an episode of Charmed. Remember? I got one more location, the Palace Movie Theater, where Michael Jackson was chomping on the popcorn and Ola Ray was so scared, she ran out of that movie theater. How cool is this, huh? Michael Jackson was standing right here. It's pretty dark in here now. This is where Michael Jackson Ola Ray came out. The Marquise still looks the same. Michael! So that's really enough for today. I'm tired. Vlog is over now, for real. See you guys later.